Hi, this is Adam. This is Kaylee. And we're uh, here watching the uh, third game of the IFPA 9 uh, World Championship Finals. This is the match between uh, our very own Kaylee George and uh, Italy's own uh, Daniela. Uh, I don't know how to say it. You say his last name. Daniele Celestino Acciari. There At least that's you, how uh, I would do it in a really bad Italian accent. So uh, please Acciari. don't murder me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at, so far, our match is tied one game each. Uh, both players have held serve, uh, winning on the games that they chose uh, on Shadow and uh, Grand Prix. And this is game three, so this would have been uh, Danielle's choice. Yep, this was his pick. On Medusa. Indeed. And, uh, yeah, you know, Medusa, pretty interesting game. It's kind of got this uh, upper-lower play field action without actually having a... Uh, upper play field play field installed in the game it's kind of a little bit oddball looking with some scissor flipper stuff going on up top with some zippers um and a game a lot of people really haven't played uh yeah the rules are a little uh, mystifying to some i think in general you uh get the ball uh back up top and there's two ways to do it you can uh shoot it up through the center spinner or you can shoot an orbit uh the left and right orbits i'm not sure i think it's the left orbit uh will advance your multiplier and uh, I think good things happen on the orbits as well, but it's a bit more risk-reward. Uh, a lot of players are more comfortable just shooting it right up the center. Yeah, there's a spinner right up the center, and it's an easy way to get it back up top. Uh, you can quickly close those flippers that are on the top side of the play field and uh, get good value out of the uh, top side. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this Game 3 of uh, the ninth Annual uh, World Pinball Championships. All right, so uh, Danielle's going to be the uh, first player because he chose the game you get the advantage of going second uh i saw danielle just obliterate this game uh in an earlier round i think it was against andy rosa uh two yeah, and a I half say he put up uh, almost three million points so, and i don't uh, think he played his third ball or needed to play his third ball either so um yep so here's shooting that right orbit getting back up top and you can see when he hit that drop target it's uh zippered the flippers closed so unless he dribbles out one of the the orbits there like there he just did that point uh keep the ball going up top it's just money with his uh return shot and that's uh it's so important on this game and makes the game so much easier what uh what closes the flippers uh if you hit the uh the drop targets up top you can get those flippers closed so yeah you can see danielle really comfortable uh shooting that uh, left and right orbit shot to bring it back up top and uh you know you can get uh bonus multipliers out of that and um some increasing point value. Um, but, you know, going into this, I hadn't played this game yet in the whole tournament. And, uh, you know, a lot of Medusas can play a little bit different and their flippers feel a little funky. Um, and just uh, knew I wouldn't be comfortable finding out that shot right away. So my plan going into this was to uh, just get it up top, get some good action going uh, by shooting it up through the spinner. Uh, but, uh, you know, watching Daniela here, he's obviously... Uh, Hitting his orbits nicely. It's uh, it's interesting though because it, it looked like he was comfortable on the uh, live catch coming down the orbit, but now he's sort of holding the flipper up and having to do a bit more work to get control back down low. Uh, it's a little. Yeah, luckily though that left uh, left slingshot isn't uh, you know <laughs> that was a great little save. Oof. That was very similar to uh, what Daniela had done on Grand Prix to kind of pull a ball almost out of the drain. Sort of like a quick super double flip, super yeah, fast. Yeah, it's like almost like, yeah, you need two slap saves in one and get enough momentum to pull the ball back up. Uh, another interesting thing uh, is a uh, little center post action down there. Um, and uh, I believe that can kick, can it not? That's right. Uh, what's interesting is uh, the kicks, you actually are a part of your bonus at the end of the ball are based on how many kicks you have left. So when you use a kick, it, in theory, costs you points at the end of the ball. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth it to use it to knock the ball forward. That little, um, you know, that little post can kind of move forward, but it's it's really crappy. I mean, it's... When you're in a really, really close match, too, sometimes. Yeah, you know? I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Um, uh, have you ever seen the ball save through someone kicking it back up oh, in yeah, the play? yeah, but it's like... You know, you can build those, or you you come with a certain amount, and you can use them all. And it's, it just feels so bad when you're doing it. It's like the flip slave on Embryon, but even worse. You know. So, so. Uh, oh, so we see you going right up uh, the center there, like you said. And, yeah, uh, so oh, just trying to get it up the there. And um, you know, I'm feeling pretty good at this point. Just came off a win on Grand Prix, and 
Uh, just wanted to get it right back up there and start working on those drops. Um, yeah. if you can get a lot of drops down, uh, you get some good points by putting in the little scoop up on top too. Good, uh, good wiggling there. The the, the outlines or in lane outlane stuff here are just awful. You really want to stay out of it. At yeah, all costs. The, the configuration of the post there is really deadly. You're both kind of holding the flipper up off. It's coming off the bottom of the left sling, and you can't really live catch it. And yeah, and you know. Uh, when you get those flippers closed, uh, there's a timer, them, isn't there? They don't stay close forever. Yeah, you you want them to um, act a lot like, say, the zippers on Fireball, or one of those older games where you can kind of tap the ball around and get it in the right position on the flipper before you flip. But man, they're so much uh, more temperamental. Like you just can't do those little moves that you want to up there. So you kind of really just gotta get the ball going and. Uh, you know, uh, you can't really roll it around on the flipper as much as you want. So, oh, oh, man, yeah. That, that's that configuration there on the in-lane, out-lane. Yeah, with uh, the way those posts are at, I mean, you can't, once it gets in there, you can't kind of do a side-to-side -side wobble to work it out. It's just gone, uh, and it's really tough to bring the ball back uh, when it's looking like it's going out. So uh, not a whole lot in it on uh, ball one. Yeah, you know, and here uh, I think Danielle is making a uh, much better strategy decision than I am. Um, I Still at this point I wasn't quite comfortable with the game, but I, I absolutely should be picking up these orbit shots because um, they're worth good value. And um, and that's a lot of points I'm not getting for a similar ball time at this point. Looks like the uh, right orbit is going, coming around almost every time, all the way around like a full loop. Yeah, uh, but you know, and then there's shots just like that one where it's not. So I think it's, uh, I think it's worth it, given how many shots I shot directly up the center and hit the spinner, and it would hit the top of the playfield and come right back through it. You know, I think it's right. just uh, same thing. One of those things on this game where you know a lot of times those shots are going to come right back around. So uh, the three numbers that are in the uh, bottom of the playfield there, uh, the 14s and 53 as it shows now. Uh, any idea what those are? I honestly have no idea. I, Damn, have not I was hoping enough. somebody. Well, you, we'll leave it as an exercise to the user to uh, watch the tutorial on this. Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what those are. I can't even remember. You think they're important? <laughs> I, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some kind of bonus that I should be building. Uh, I, I want to say that uh, if memory serves correct, it's one of those um, highest player gets extra ball time things um, that doesn't come into play in tournament play. But. Um, you know, I could absolutely be wrong, and it could be a, a super bonus that uh, Daniele is building, and, uh, you know, he's probably going to annihilate me with it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe uh, Bowen will do a tutorial for us sometime. Uh, oh, I, I, I think he actually tried the uh, super kicker. Yeah, I, w I will say that my knowledge of the rules on this game is that, uh, uh, you know, working the top of the play field and the saucer that's up there is where the points are at and anything else. Um, about the game will just come naturally. And uh, you can get some really, oh dear, what happened there? God, that's such a ripoff, but as, I mean, whatever, like I made a bad shot, but it's just, it's just, you know, disappointing and frustrating. It's like, yay, one third of my game is done. Oh, no. uh, you know, and relatively to some of the other games Danielle had, and here, ball three, a nice little, uh, yeah, see, there was a pretty big bonus there at the end of his third ball that seemed to be some sort of yeah, collective he, bonus. He worked so much more of the drops than I had, though, you know. Right. Um, but, but you're uh, still, you're only 400,000 points away, which isn't, it, it's a big score, but it's not huge on this game. No, yeah, and I mean, I mean, this is, that's why I was kind of, you know, so, uh, so crushed by having ball two drain so quick. I mean, I'm 200,000 points after one ball. And he's at 600 and change. Like, you know, if I could keep my average, uh, I'd be right in contention. But uh, I'm trying to make the best of it and, and uh, you know, work this upper play field. And, uh, you know. Uh, Still going up the center because yeah. you're, you're certainly comfortable in that center shot. So I Yeah, at this point, it's like, wow, point, I've got a yeah. uh, pretty good average on that center shot. And uh, Oh, dear. And there's me trying, <laughs> trying to the flip miss. that little... That little wang of a post yeah, up there at the ball. The live catch there. Yeah, I, sh I should have, uh, you know, I should have moved the machine more uh, to try and get it on that post better to knock it out. 
a bit of a mistake there. But, you know, uh, Daniele played really well on that game, um, had, uh, you know, way better shots on the orbits than I did, uh, picked up a lot of good points there, and, uh, you know, really worked those drop targets very nicely. So uh, a well-deserved win on that game. It was a good, it was a good, good game there, but you got to think maybe that would have been a good shot, especially with the scores he was putting up in the earlier rounds, that maybe you could have uh, been able to steal one there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I, I let him get away with Shadow, with some murder there. You know, my ball three yes, uh, earlier remember. in this match <laughs> uh, was nothing, and I was very close to, uh, you know, taking that game, and here on a game, uh, Medusa, he's very strong on him having not such a hot game and leaving the door wide open, as you said. Uh, it was a great opportunity to uh, take another win. So, Daniele up two games to one. So, he's hold serve, and now it comes back to you. What two games do you have left that you can juice? Yeah, from? well, remaining, I've got uh, Mouse and Around. Great game. Me and Daniele have been playing it all week. And my favorite game of all time, Attack from Mars, is up next, and that's where we're going. Uh, been saving this game for a uh, clutch time, and uh, need to pick it now. If I uh, lose the next game, I might not be playing... Uh, my next pick, so uh, I need to use the games I like at this point, and uh, Attack of Mars is the perfect one, and feeling really confident going into this uh, this game four. All right, well, let's see how, uh, how it went for you. Uh, that'll be the next game we watch. So uh, thanks for watching this uh, third game of the IFPA 9 uh, finals. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.